uh, here are the problems on uh, electric potential. This question talks about an evacuated tube using an accelerating voltage of 40 kilovolt to accelerate electrons to hit a copper plate and produce x-rays. It should be interesting to notice or to note that x-rays are actually produced by fast moving electrons hitting a metal which is what you see here and when it says non-relativistically means you need not consider the change in its mass and all that what would be the maximum speed of these electrons so you're given the uh, potential difference through which it is accelerated and in fact what is happening here is is its potential energy is being converted into kinetic energy and what is the potential energy it is Q times the voltage which becomes equal to its kinetic energy which is one half times the mass times velocity squared since you're asked to find the velocity make that the subject and you get square root 2 uh, that's the formula 2 times the charge times the voltage by mass the charge of the electron is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 and uh, the voltage is 4 kilovolt. I'm sorry, that's 40 kilovolt. That's why it's 4 times 10 to the power 4. Because kilo is 10 raised to 3, it would have been 40 times 10 to the 3 or 4 times 10 to the 4 divided by the mass of the electron. So when you do that and uh, take the square root of that, you get. 1.17 times 10 to the 8 meter per second and in this question what is the average power output important word here is power of a heart defibrillator that dissipates dissipates means uses or gives out 400 joules of energy in 10 milliseconds power is work over time and what is given as energy is simply work because energy is the ability to do work so you have the energy and you have the time milliseconds is 10 to the negative 3 seconds and all you got to do is divide that and you get 4 times 10 to the power 4 watts and that is a real high power why doesn't it produce real serious burns have you thought about it yes it's because the time for which it lasts is really small you just give a pulse it's it's an amount a huge amount of energy just in a in a short amount of time. The electric field strength between two parallel conducting plates separated by 4 cm is 7.50 times 10 to the 4 volt per meter. What is the potential difference between the plates? The plate with the lowest potential is taken to be at 0 and what is the potential? one centimeter from that plate which is three centimeter from the other so you have to find the electric field strength here that's E otherwise called the intensity you have the potential per meter and you also have the separation so you have to remember that uh, the potential difference is the product of intensity and distance. So intensity is given, that is intensity. Electric field strength is given, all right. And the next, uh, so you get that as two, three kilovolts. And second case, you got to find it one centimeter from that plate. So again, the field strength or intensity is the same. 
but this time you are only one centimeter away which is in meters 0 0.01 and so it is 750 so you remember that you're moving from a high potential plate to a low potential plate and remember the negative plate is taken to be at zero volt so you go from 3000 and as you go one centimeter it drops to 750 and as you keep going it keeps on dropping until when you reach the other plate it becomes zero and the next one talks about an electrostatic paint sprayer uh, which is the one that breaks uh, paint into small droplets so you can have them deposited uniformly over a surface you know that's how painting is usually done uh, because if you do it with a brush you're not going to get that uh, uniform deposition so it's it's sprayed actually and uh, it has a 0.2 meter diameter metal sphere at a potential of 25 kilovolt that repels paint droplets onto a grounded object okay so the potential of the sphere is 25,000 volts and at the other end it's grounded so the potential is zero so that means the potential difference is 25,000 minus zero which is 25,000 you're asked to find the charge on the sphere now the charge on the sphere is just assumed to be the charge concentrated at its center. So it's like although the charges are spread out on the sphere, you imagine that all of that charge is right at the center of the sphere. So then you can use K times Q divided by the radius to find the potential of the sphere and then rearrange to make charge the subject the radius is 0.1 because it was the diameter that was 0.2 so take half of that and you get 0.1 uh, the potential difference is 25 times 10 to the 3 because it's in kilovolt and k is 9 times 10 to the 9 so when you calculate that you get 2.78 times 10 to the negative 7 coulombs. In the B part, what charge must a 0.1 milligram drop of paint have to arrive at the object with a speed of 10 meter per second? All right, now, its kinetic energy is obtained from the potential energy. We've done this before, so make Q the subject. And uh, this is milligrams so divided by thousand would change it into grams and again if you divide by thousand changes into kilograms so that's why I have multiplied with 10 to the negative 6 because you have to divide with thousand two times right that is dividing by 10 to the 6 or multiplying with 10 to the negative 6 uh, velocity is 10 and I just forgot to put a square there okay so when you square it you get 2 times 10 to the minus 10 coulomb what is the potential between two points situated 10 centimeters and 20 centimeters from a 3 microcoulomb point charge okay what's the potential between two points alright so potential difference is the difference in potential between the two points which is KQ is going to be common so 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2 right because it's KQ by R1 minus KQ by R2 so I've taken out KQ and this is what you have inside K is 9 times 10 to the 9. Q is in micro, so it's 10 to the negative 6. 1 by, see, centimeters, no, it will not work. That's 0 0.1 meter. And then that is 0 0.2. 
that comes out to be 135 times 10 to the 3 volt. And in the B part, to what location should the point at 20 centimeter be moved to increase this potential difference by a factor of 2? So in place of having this, you want to double it. Our question is, in order to double this, what should you do to this number? What should you make it to get this to be double? I'm trying to draw a diagram now. So that's the 20, 10 centimeter, the 20 centimeter. You have the charge here. This is at 10 centimeters, this is 20. So you have your R1 and R2. And simply, if you take R2 to be infinity, ooh, you take it to be infinity, it means you take it far away, just keep taking it away. Now what happens is, you will have 1 divided by infinity here, 1 divided by infinity is 0, right? And then you will get double this by simple calculation. Right? No, I think I didn't prove that, but that's understandable. Try putting this term as 0 because 1 by infinity and you get double this. Find the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor having plates of area 5 meters squared that are separated by 0 0.100 millimeter of Teflon. So the insulating substance used here, Teflon, is the substance that you have coated on non-stick pans that works as an insulator. The formula is K epsilon naught A by D. Remember that K here is not 9 times 10 to the 9. It's called the dielectric constant of Teflon, which will be given to you. It is 2.1. Epsilon naught is the permittivity of free space. That's a constant. Area 5 distance is in millimeters gotta have it in meters so times 10 to the negative 3 straightforward all you got to do is just calculate that carefully and you would get it as 9.29 times 10 to the negative 7 farad which is 0.929 or 0.93 times 10 to the negative 6 Therefore, you write it as microfarad because 10 to the negative 6 is 1 microfarad. So, now the problem here is talking about a combination of capacitors. You have to find the total capacitance. You, you have these two connected. Uh, they are in series with each other and that combination is in parallel with this. So, first let's find out the total of these two using... 1 over Cs is 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. So, and actually this is a shortcut. If you only have two capacitors, it's going to work. It's uh, always product divided by the sum. Product of the two divided by the sum of the two. Which in this case comes out to be 0.3. Uh, I'm keeping all of them in microfarads then the final answer will be in microfarad. So you get 0.291 microfarad and then that combination is in parallel with that so you just got to add C3 to this and C3 is in microfarad so when you add it you get 2.791 microfarad which is the answer. So that's it. Thank you. And hopefully you understood everything and will make good preparation for your exam.